Hi everyone, welcome back to the Keto Vegan Podcast, the show where I, Rach, combine all things keto and plant-based without losing our sanity. At least that's the goal. Today I'm talking about macros. Yes, what are they? They are the magical percentages of carbs, fats and proteins that we need to know how many to use of and know exactly how to get this right. So how on earth do we get this right? Now, what are macros? They are the building blocks of the different things that go into your body through food. So they're really important. But what exactly do they do? Do we know? Now, carbs, we know as keto people that if we eat carbs, the first thing our body is going to burn are those sugars, are those carbs, before the body starts burning fat. This is why we like to cut out the carbs because we want fat to be burnt burnt, burnt and burnt away. And if we think about proteins as our building blocks, um, people that want to build a lot of muscle eat a lot of protein, don't they? Now, I don't want to build a lot of muscle. I could do with getting more muscle for sure. I could do with doing more exercise for sure. But what is the real challenge here? Figuring out how much of each we need without feeling like we need a maths degree. So, I have been testing out all these free keto calculators and let me tell you, each one seems to come up with slightly different answers. I am putting in that I am female, that I am 53 years old, I'm putting in my weight in pounds, I'm putting in my height, five foot three, I used to be five foot four, I'm assuming I've shrunk a little bit. Actually, I used to be five foot three and three quarters, but I did like to round up. Using these websites, it seems to be like asking three friends for directions. And each one says, trust me, I know a shortcut. So here's the deal. It's okay if you're not spot on every day. There's no magic combo that's going to make or break your keto vegan journey. So my tip is start with a general range. Find one that you like. You can see, if you're watching, you can see on the screen that I've done an Ecosia search and there's a few there. I'm showing you as well the results that are all different for each of them. For And I've been putting in exactly the same information. Find the one that, just find anyone. I don't think it really matters. Get started. And many keto resources recommend something like 70% fats, 25% protein, and 5% carbs. However, looking at these, it gives you the option of like 20 gram carbs, which is optimal, but put it down to 15 or 10. 15 seems to be more realistic. Now, one of them had a really low protein count and a massively high fat count. And also, you can see how many calories you get from one gram of fat, one gram of carbs and one gram of protein. Now, we don't want to have to, well, you might love working it all out because, you know, when you start a diet, sometimes we do love really to get into it. So once you've worked out how many fats, proteins and carbs you wanna eat or you should be eating by going to one of the free keto calculators, come on, let's be honest. Just know that fats are friends, they are not foes. So fats are the key player in keto because they are running the show. Think of them as the fuel tank, except instead of gas, you're filling up on things like avocados and oils and nuts and coconut oil and those almond butter and stuff like that. Not peanut butter, more about that next episode. But you don't have to eat straight up spoons of MCT oil or coconut oil. Mind you, you might like to if that's really the thing that you want to eat straight off. I couldn't think of anything worse. I really don't like the taste of coconut oil and things. It can really be quite potent. More about that next time too. So here's where the vegan side comes in. What about the proteins? So there are things like tofu, and I've done an episode on that a little while. There's temper. There's these other proteins that are low carb, typical traditional vegan foods like hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are like magic. 
more about that next episode. I'm going to do an episode on the foods that you can and can't have. And the pea protein's really, really good as well. But if you do like quinoa or edamame, they have got quite a few carbs in. You need to be really careful with those. Okay, counting your carbs, counting your macros, counting your fats, counting your proteins. As soon as we have too many carbs, we are kicked out of ketosis. If we have too few carbs, we're gonna go around sniffing bread just to remember what it was like. So what can we do? Start with leafy greens, start with broccoli and cauliflower. They are really carb light. They are good with fiber. And don't forget, if you're in America, your carb counts includes the fiber. So you can take that off your actual carb count if you're in the UK and maybe Europe, depends on how they spell it. If it's F-I-B-R-E, then the fiber is not included in the carb count. If it's F-I-B-E-R, then the fiber is included in the carb count. Finding your macro balance, your fats, proteins and carbs, is a little bit like a dance. I would say focus on the carbs. Get the carbs nice and low. Keep your fats lovely and high and your proteins moderate. If you wanna be really particular about it, then do be particular. And after you've done it, after you've done the diet for a couple of weeks, you will get really used to what you can and can't have. And then maybe go back to counting again after a month or six weeks. Use a calculator as a starting point and don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Remember, the goal is to feel really great whilst eating in a way that aligns with your values. Next episode, I'm going to answer questions like, is hummus keto? And I'm going to talk about some great proteins as well in the episode after that. Thank you for listening. Hit follow, do subscribe, contact me with what you want me to talk about. See you next time. Thank you.